Well, when the 442nd was formed, there was a lot of discussion. In Hawaii, immediately 10,000 boys volunteered because there was one draft board and they were not under guard. There was martial law in Hawaii, but they were free to go and go. You know, they were, they were, there were no camps. They were, they were free to roam around. They were working in the Pearl Harbor, the, you know, making a paycheck and everything. So they were eager to go, very eager to go. Well, when, the, when most of the boys now are in concentration camps in the United States, scattered all over the country, not in one place. So now the army sends representatives out to the camps and they're asking the boys to volunteer. Well, as you can imagine, the older boys are saying, hell no, you put us in jail, give us our freedom and we'll go. Let our parents out of jail. What crime have they committed? Tell us. And of course, there's no answer. There's, you know, there's, there's nothing there except we want you to go to, you know, go to war for us. Well, a lot of people said, hell no. Overnight, I got changed to, <laughs> I'm loyal now. <laughs> so, uh, 80, well, there were a lot of Japanese American uh, men and women that were in Ann Arbor, Michigan, working for the university. Um, there were so many, and all of a sudden, this classified, every got reclassified, and the men, oh, these are just men, 80 of us went for our physical in Detroit, Michigan. And would you believe there was only one guy that got rejected? The government decided for some reason that uh, they're going to let us declare our loyalty. <laughs> and for them, it was kind of a simple matter because all you got to do is just say, yeah, I'm loyal, you know, and uh, they'll think. But, but, you know, they didn't anticipate the reaction that they were going to get from the internees because the internees, you know, had been uh, incarcerated for nine months. They said, now, what are they doing to us now? You know, and... Uh, you know, the questionnaire had 28 questions. Uh, you know, the first 26 were, you know, information, you know, what's your name, from your address. <clears throat> but question 27 and 28 were the problematical ones. Uh, question 27 said, uh, are you willing to serve in the armed forces of the United States, including combat, is so ordered. And question 28 had to do with, are, will you forswear any allegiance to the emperor of Japan? and pledge your allegiance to the United States. I initially, you know, or the way I answered it was I answered question 27, eight, uh, 28, 27, excuse me, as no, because, uh, you know, I didn't want to volunteer at that time. And, uh, 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 and, and I'll get back to that in a minute, but in question 28, though, I said, yes, you know, I wasn't going to declare myself, to, you know, uh, and I had no allegiance to the emperor and things, so I had no trouble saying yes to that. Now, as far as uh, question 27 is concerned, you know, the, the per uh, luckily for me, the person who was administering the questionnaire was a very, uh, uh, you know, kind person. And, you know, he was a very uh, good person. And, uh, you know, he told me at the time, you know, he says, are you sure that's what you want to do? You know, I think you're making a big mistake. And I said at the time, well, uh, well yeah, you know, I think that's what I want to do. Uh, but then I thought about it for several days, and uh, then I went back to him. And fortunately for me, he let me change it, because there. Uh, and and uh, you can see I, I crossed it out and put yes, and uh, that was the best decision I ever made. Parents left it up to us. It says, "It's your country. You have to do what's right for you." It says, uh, "If you have to go to war, go and be careful." be responsible, uh, don't embarrass us, don't bring shame to the family. <clears throat> and uh, they were, of course, they didn't want us to go. You know, I, I chose to be loyal to the, com uh, to the country, so I figured that, you know, that was the only thing. I didn't know any other place, to, you know, I, I wouldn't know what to do with Japan, so. Where else are you going to go? That's all I know is the United States. After the 442nd had fought battles and demonstrated their loyalty, uh, then they decided to, uh, you know, reinstate the draft. 
And so after nine months in uh, Fenn College, then I was drafted and, uh, you know, uh, and I was sent for, uh, be inducted in Indianapolis. And then what they did was they put me on uh, uh, in active reserve because what they were doing is, uh, you know, they, were, they had to, you know, put me in the 442nd segregate unit. And so they were collecting all the people from all the different camps and things like this. And so until they were ready and had a sufficiently large number, you know, they put us on an active uh, reserve. Uh, there were a bunch of us young kids, and I was on the outside, but there were some other 16, 17, 18 year old boys who were thinking along the same lines as I was. You know, this is what the government did, but what can you do to change the mind of the government? If we don't go to fight, what's going to happen to us? Will they send us all to Japan to get rid of us? I mean, they put us in camps. I suppose they could send us to Japan. I mean, they can logistically do this. So a lot of us were, we're Americans. That's, you know, our parents would say we're Americans. You go fight for your country. So we were dying to volunteer. So many boys volunteered for camps. I volunteered out of camp. And it wasn't until May of 1943 that my draft board in Denver called me to go. Then they start asking for volunteers and, and uh, you can enlist in the service. I said, gee, I don't know. I was a little confused at the time. I didn't first volunteer. <clears throat> so <clears throat> it finally came to a point where I had to make a decision whether volunteer or be drafted. I waited as long as I could, and just before I drafted, I got my notice and was put on the enlisted reserve in June of 1944. They were gathering enough Japanese American to make a, uh, enough to train us as a unit. I, I graduated from uh, in '44, and then in, during the, my senior year. I was in, inducted into the service, you know, I was in inactive service for a while, and then when I, the minute I graduated, they changed that to active service, and then I went into service right after I was. Forming the, uh, the 442nd Combat Team, and my mom said uh, not to volunteer, but to, if they draft you, but to go. And so that, that's what we did.